happened? Are we still on the air? <laughs> <laughs> I believe you know we what? are. Tom, just go. It's your <laughs> there turn. There we go. I'm here. <laughs> Uh, hey, if you were up a couple of hours ago, you would have seen that big, almost full moon setting right about there. Of course, it's been set for a while now. It's set just before 6 a.m. Uh, it is officially full, the super strawberry moon. It's a super moon, another one of those moons that makes a close approach to the Earth, closest approach that it makes. Uh, and it's one of three consecutive super moons. The last two have been super moons, and this one is as well. So it's officially full this afternoon, then rises again tonight. So if you missed it the last couple of nights, uh, you'll be able to see it again overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning. Shouldn't have an issue with cloud cover. What makes the difference between a super moon and a micro moon? Well, a micro moon is just farther away. Uh, when a super moon has that close approach, it's at a perigee, 14% bigger and 30% brighter than typical, especially than a micro moon. So, you know, it's all in the orbit. And uh, it was beautiful early this morning if you managed to see it. Here's the max track. Here's the big view. The showers and storms for the next couple of days are going to stay primarily out where you're seeing them right now. Uh, there's a system that is going to just essentially stall out and they'll continue to see waves of showers and storms firing up in that direction. Severe storms and heavy rain. Uh, some of these clusters may hold together just long enough. There's one diving in Friday afternoon to graze northern Kentucky. What we'll likely see is some cloud cover blowing off from them with the majority of the activity staying just out of state, but it's going to be awfully close. And later in the weekend, we will see a rising chance for showers and storms. Here you can see it going up. And as we get into next week, we'll be dealing with a little bit of what they're dealing with out west. We could see a front trying to stall out, and we could get set up for the possibility of some rounds of heavy rain, repeated waves of storms coming through. Over the next seven days, the bullseye for the heaviest rain. Notice how the Commonwealth is split in half. The heaviest back to the west, or they could be talking a foot, a half a foot or more of rain and flash flooding a huge concern for them. Uh, as close as Indiana. 60 degrees here in Lexington. We've got a dew point in the 50s. That's still a comfortable place to be. Look what the dew point's doing, though. Going into the weekend, it rises back into that muggy territory, at times flirting with tropical. That's where it starts to just get really steamy. So get ready for a return to the heat and the humidity. Highs are going to be bouncing right around the mid 80s, right around our average high. And it's going to feel more summery. Now, we're even showing the potential for some upper 80s today. I think a lot of us will be in the mid 80s in your community. We're showing 85 way up north in Williamstown, uh, 83 in Winchester, Richmond, and Berea. Likely going to be around the mid 80s. Our eastern counties, much the same. Owingsville, an 85 degree high. West Liberty, right along there out in uh, Morgan County. And then as you drop southeast, some mid to maybe brief upper 80s in Jackson and Breathitt County, they're showing 87. And then uh, as you get south and west, Somerset, that's a good day at the lake as you get down to around Lake Cumberland, Monticello, all showing mid to upper 80s with that higher humidity. It'll be creeping up. It's not going to be oppressive, but you'll feel it rising. Just getting back to that summertime feel. The only drawback, the shower and storm chances returning late the weekend and then much more widespread coverage into early next week.